Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Half-Life 2. And what lies beyond that door is seriously not tight. That guy really gave me the the what for last time, and it was it was not very cool, but we also had a lot less health going into it than we do right now. But I'm not saying that it's gonna be pretty. Because it's not. Alright, I need to see what's going on down. Oh, he has a turret! No wonder why he's hitting me from all the way out there. <laughs> I was wondering how the hell he was so accurate from that far away. And now it makes total sense. RUN! Take cover! Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. Please save my life, Big Barrel. For the love of God. Okay, here we go! All right, we're good. We're, we're totally good here. Well, for the time being, at least. We're not, we're not going to last a lot longer in this situation unless he dies quickly. Because you know that guy's pumping in some serious like, Rick Astley never gonna give you up in his headphones while he's on that turret. Except for he's, like, you know, exchanging his own lyrics into it. So he's, like, uh, he's doing that, never gonna let you live. Oh, shit, okay, we have one health. Oh, my God, that, that is bad. Wait, I've got grenades, don't I? Oh, my God. Save my life! Send it in, Jerome! Is he dead? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God, okay. All right, we got it. We got him out of that thing. That's that's good news. Yeah, we're alive. Oh my god, I can't believe that we're alive right now on one health, nonetheless. Whew. Okay, please don't let there be anybody in here. Cross your dicks, everyone. We're going in. Oh, we got right there. Oh my god, there. Oh, what the? It's gone. Oh, whoa! Hold on a minute. All right, this is not cool. That guy just spawned out of nowhere. I didn't realize this was a David Blaine show all of a sudden. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Your health definitely doesn't stay at one. It goes back up. It doesn't. It doesn't Brian McKnight that thing and stay back at one. We're we're at least in a better spot. Open the door. Do it. All right, you're dead. <laughs> uh, all right. God, I love that these guys are still stupid enough to come walk up to the door. <laughs> I'll bet he's not gonna expect me walking into that door to go shoot him. He thinks I'm gonna stay right here. But I didn't. I showed them that even if they're, you know, from the Combine, I'm still smarter than they are, even though I'm not really a guy with a lot of basic weapons training. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. Gordon Freeman was just a scientist, right? So... I don't think they really give scientists a lot of extensive, you know, arms training. I kind of just picked that up on the fly last game, and <laughs> just like, alright, well, guns. I'm gonna try it. Why not? Let's see what happens. And it totally worked. So, alright, let's, let's, let's keep the smig out here. That's kind of our best bet so far. What the hell is this? What have we here? Oh, great, more explodey things. Oh, and that doesn't work anymore. That's that's fantastic. That's just what I wanted. Hmm. Well, wait a minute, how the fuck am I supposed to fix that then? Is there something else I can do? Do I just have to... No? Hmm. That, that is not good. If this is like a Resident Evil sort of situation, I could just take that crank out and <laughs> take the other one out of my bag and put it in there. But no, no, no. We're not playing that way today. We're, yeah, we're doing it the much harder way that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I need to figure out what I'm going to do about this. Because so far, I don't see anything that makes me think that we're going to be able to get out of this at once in one, uh, in one piece. But I have an idea. It's probably not going to work. Because most of my ideas don't. But we're going to shoot this and see if it blows up the fence. Oh, that's what happens! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Tight. Uh, I love when explosives make things work. Wait, did that just set off an alarm? The fire department getting here now? <laughs> Somebody call the fire department! This one's getting out of control! Oh my god, okay, yep, they're here. They're totally here. They they definitely got called, and they showed up. Oh god. Dude, get this stupid little picture-taking machine out of my way. I don't, I don't need you. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, alright, man, you're here. I get it. You guys are doing your job, and whatever, but I'm doing mine too, so shut the hell up. You know? Don't make me, don't make me silence you, you, you people, in a non-racist way, because, you know, people take that the wrong way a lot, but... Alright, let's go get in our lovely little fan boat and go for, go for a nice jaunt about the sludge again. There's still people here? No? 
This was a this was a a fairly uncomfortable room last time we were in here, and it still is. That's hey, what do you do? You know. I love the like the red tracer light that goes on that. Didn't kill anybody though. I don't know why, but like when I whenever I look at these guys, their their masks kind of remind me of like Iron Man. I don't know why, because if if I were to look at that again, I know that that assumption would not even come close. Uh, if I were to actually, like, sit down and look at it for more than, like, two seconds. It's just, like, a little, you know, reactionary thing. Where? Who is shooting at me? Down there? Really? Is that guy really shooting me under the car? It's impressive, man. That's that's a really small window to hit a guy. I gotta, I gotta give him props where it's due. I don't need to give that guy props, so that guy shot me in the dick. That wasn't very nice of him. That's just like the that's like the unwritten rule of shooting, man. You don't shoot a guy in the junk. Like if he lives, he's not gonna be able to do anything with that. Shit. Okay. Table. Table. Up. Down. And we're dead. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. Suck a dick, butt kiss. You know. All right. You know what? At least that gives me an opportunity to go through this again and actually have some more health, because we did not do very well the first time around. But I have a better idea, though. I'm definitely not gonna toss that that grenade down there. I'm just gonna go jump on that turret. And they're all gonna fucking die! Yeah! Way better, man. What the hell did I not do that the first time? Whoa! Jeez! Alright, Pearl Harbor, calm down. Good god. For the homeland! Alright. Back to this thing again. Okay, so I know there's a guy over there. Aha! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see what's up. I know where you guys are at now. You can't you can't give the element a surprise anymore. <laughs> uh great. Oh, oh. Oh, do you don't go really you're gonna go walk over there. Hey! Hey Carl! Are you alive, man? <laughs> no, alright! I guess we're not taking that trip to Bangladesh this year! <laughs> uh, and this killing guys with grenades never gets old. I, I will tell you that right now. It simply never gets old. It is it is a tale as old as time. If we're going Beauty and the Beast, you know, status on that. Okay, you guys can die whenever you're ready. I mean, whenever. I mean, take take your time. I know nobody enjoys dying, but you know, I, I'm I'm on a schedule too. So, you know, whenever whenever you want to stop being a jerk about it, then we're fine. Ooh. Damn, what happened to that guy? Jeez. I mean, that gives a whole new definition to face-off. I don't think Nicolas Cage was part of that one. I feel like they, they did it a little bit cleaner in that movie. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Why open the door? Just push the damn thing. Okay. And we still got Heinz 57 sauce. Health. That's good. That's, that's very good. For the record, I do not like Heinz 57 sauce. I think that shit's gross. It smells weird. It's like, it's way too tangy. Which is the same reason why I don't like A1 sauce either. So you can say that's blasphemy all you want, and it might be, but you know what? I'll, I'll go with other things. So here we go. Back on the boat again. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. I, I promise I'm not an Asian woman. I can drive better than that. I was just thinking that was another situation where we could just, like, totally take the thing out under it. But, maybe not. See, like that. I was thinking it was going to be like that. Instead of what it was. Oh, my God. Okay, yep. They're they're shooting rockets at me. Ha ha ha! That was great. Why would you do that? Why, why would you think that's a smart idea? I'm on a fan boat. I can run your ass over at my own leisure. But, you know, oh. Somebody signed their death warrant this morning, and it was me. I, I missed them. Totally missed. Man, that is not a visual I ever want to see. I don't want to... Ooh. I don't think I ever want to be on a fan boat when a tank decides to come flying by. <laughs> oh! Yikes. Just singed off my eyebrows in that exchange. Oh my god! Jeez. Station wagons, man. Somebody's got to drive them. I understand. Like, they're not your favorite car, but... Don't throw them at me. I ain't driving it. I already got a, I have a Honda Accord, man. That thing's gonna get me another 200,000 miles before all's said and done. 
That's what happens when you follow Obama's cash for clunkers thing. <laughs> yeah. But I digress. It's not important. Thank you. Thanks for making me wait an awkward amount of time for that. I would love to not have to do this any further. Why is that turning that way? That was weird. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, stop. Get out of there. I, I see the lambda symbol. That means that something good is here. What lies beneath is a good thing, I think. As long as it's not the movie. I'm not really a big fan of it. Is that supposed to be like a put the lotion in the basket sort of thing? Or I hope not. I ain't trying to deal with Buffalo Bill. No way. Hey, here we go. All right. Finally. Tight. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love every part about these little hidden things, man. I don't I don't think that they did that in Half-Life 1. But I'm really glad they did it in Half-Life 2 because <laughs> it has saved my ass at least like three times already. So... A man cannot appreciate it enough unless he has, and then he will have appreciated it enough. But that is not me, so I can still be on the side of the fence that has not appreciated it enough. I don't know why, that looked like something a lot more important than what that was. Oh, great! Yeah! Awesome! Yeah, that's... that makes me feel good. I mean, if they know that I'm coming, then how are they not sending more people? Like, they just have... They're like, hey, hey, we know he's on the way. So we're just going to send one guy out to just, you know, fire petty bullets at him with a machine gun from, like, 300 yards away and hope that maybe, just maybe, we can graze him with one. And if he just happens to get in here, then, well, whatever. All right. Now we're, now we're here. Dry land. Who just leaves this stuff out here? I don't understand. Hey. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Calm down. Calm down. You know? Stop resisting. My question is, who's just leaving this shit over here? Like, hey. Hey, Pete. Pete. Can you watch my Magnum with all my bullets and everything just sitting here? <laughs> I'm going to go take a piss. Let's just hope that, you know, the guy that we're trying to kill doesn't just come flying in the back door and steal it. I mean, I mean we got a padlock there, but we know bullets can take that out, but pff, nobody's ever going to do that. Nobody's ever going to do that. That's It's the top-of-the-line brand, man. They told us that it's impervious to gunfire. <laughs> okay, that, that, that didn't really go over the way I was thinking. I was thinking, you know, one... One swift shot to the face with that crowbar would have been enough. That is not a good visual. That is, that is bad. That's very bad. We need to get out of here. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, alright? Jeez. What the hell is that thing? Oh, I know what that thing is. Oh my god, alright. Jeez. Let's come to a compromise or something, you know? You don't have to rip me in half. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't tell your wife that her roast sucks, alright? We can come to a compromise somehow, alright? Or you can just keep shooting blue bullets at me, whatever you want to do. That's, that's alright, I can see you're very emotional about how you respond to things. God, get in here, get in here, holy smokes. This is, this is just not, this is not a very nice place to be. Come on, come on, I dare ya. You know what's, you know, whoa. Okay, alright. You know what's gonna happen if you do it. Alright, whatever. God, this place is really not, it's not a place to have your kids, you know. This is, uh, this is among the lower ranked places in the United States to have children just walking around. You know what? I have my fill of you things, alright? Jeez. Alright. Oh, you got one more, huh? Okay. Well, I've been trying to find a, a safe place to stop for a couple of minutes here, but they're just not gonna they're not gonna indulge me on that one. They're like, oh, you wanna stop? We're not gonna let you stop. It's one of those can't stop, won't stop things. And I hate that term, but I had to use it. Might as well get it out of the way once in my life before I never use it again. 
<laughs> Can't get me down here, you assholes. Why don't you suck on one of these, you dick bags? Huh? Oh. I got out of oh, yes, just stay right there. Let me let me give you some impromptu brain surgery. <laughs> yeah, great. I love it. Who's next? Who wants who wants to uh, who wants to help me paint? Paint the walls with your doob. Blood backwards? No? Alright. It was worth a try. Oh, come on. This is, this is, we're not doing the fucking grapevine up there. Stop it. This is not like fourth grade gym class, okay? We, we stopped doing that a long time ago. Jeez. Alright. I think... No, there's more. There's just more of them. I just... I want one place to stop today, and they... They absolutely refuse. On the plus side, this thing has insane range and accuracy. All right, we good? Yes? No? More? You got you got an opportunity. I'm giving you one more. Okay, we're good. Changing 500, whatever. Okay, so we we found a place to stop now. It's it's fine for like a minute or so. So when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Half Life Two, we get to go through this just termite infested building filled with people with combine suits on and we get to go over there to the red light district not the TLC song that was oddly sexual and weird and uncomfortable for everyone so when we come back we're going to go over there and see what's up but until then my friends this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time bye everybody <laughs>